it's lovely to see you. I hope you're well and um, I hope you've had a good week. I am in Fotheringhay, which is beautiful. And you can see that bridge behind me. Fotheringhay Bridge is a stunning example of a bridge. Church. I think it's called St Mary and the Saints Church. I think I'm gonna to have to. I'll put a little the description of that below. I said to you that I was going to talk a bit about the River Nen or the River Neen depending on where you are on the river that's how it's pronounced and I'm finding that everyone I speak to about the river the pronunciation I use is the opposite to the one that the person I'm speaking to is using so uh, it's 50 50 chance really but I'm going to call it the River Nen today so um, a few things to bear in mind when you go to the River Nen. It's a good place to start at Northampton Marina if you're coming from the Grand Union at Gayton Junction because you can get your key. There's a very special key that you need. So once you have your river key and you have paid your licence, you're ready to explore the River Nen. 88 navigable miles and 38 locks. Here is us approaching our very first guillotine lock. Let me tell you about the locks on the River Nen. Da, da, da. <laughs> I don't know, dear. can we concentrate? Go over this bridge. And then, just hope there's instructions. So, yeah, yeah. so cabinet. Yeah, it's instructions on the left here. Yep. Put the key in the cabinet. Key. Oh. Key in. Open the box. Ooh. Right here we go. Let's just read the instructions. Unlock security lock. If entering from a lower level, secure boat in a lock pen. They're coming from a high, or a high, high level. Completely lower the guillotine gate. you've lowered the guillotine you then fill up the lock as normal and um, then your boat enters and you slowly empty the lock by slowly lifting the guillotine and then you're ready to leave the lock so that's the automatic pressing buttons example of a guillotine lock but then you have the wheel of misfortune Time to open Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? This is not. <laughs> 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 oh. Right, should we just okay there? Now, in that direction is a really important piece of history tells a bit of a story of Mary Queen of Scots. So I'm just going to do this thing that I used to see on television when I was a kid, a program called Rent a Ghost, um, just showing my age there, where Madame Popoff would hold her nose and do that and she would appear at different places. So I am going to take you to where once stood the castle that links to Mary Queen of Scots. Okay, here we go. Oh my 
goodness. I am at the top of the castle. The Queen Mary of Scots was imprisoned and later executed. And Henry VIII passed the castle down to his wife, Ka oh, did you hear the woodpecker? His wife, Catherine of Aragon, and then woodpecker. <laughs> um, and then all of the other wives who had their heads still on their shoulders um, spent some time here. Um, but after Queen Mary of Scots was executed here, um, uh, they actually fell into disrepair. And here is all that remains of the castle stone. The rest of it was used to build the Talbot Inn in Oundle. So as well as uh, visiting the castle remains, also this week I've had my nose in the dead nettles. And um, yeah, I've just, it's, it's a lot happening in the dead nettles this week. So dead nettles are named because they look like nettles, but they will not sting you. So they've evolved really to protect themselves from predators by looking like stinging nettles. The dead nettle is also called Adam and Eve in the bower and that's because if you look closely inside the flowers the two stamens lay side by side like human beings. So it seems to be the time of the year for ladybirds. There's 46 species of ladybird in the UK and only 26 of them look like the ladybird we would traditionally associate with ladybirds. So after filling up with nectar from the dead nettles, these three male hairy-footed flower bees are competing for the female hairy-footed flower bee. This mooring at Fothering Hay has been brilliant because um, you don't have to stay for 48 hours like you have to do in a lot of the moorings um, along the River Nairn so you can stay for longer and it's just five pounds a night and we have had this whole stretch to ourselves but now it's time to go we're packing up so I hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog about the River Nairn and about foreign hay and now's the chance for you to sit back relax and enjoy some moments that I've put together of the river end so far uh, look after yourself take care and please come and join me next week bye
The dead nettles are alive, where the kings and queens would stay. Now the ladies wear red, and all keep their head by the old bridge of fothering hay. The cups are petals of white, and the drink is a nectar so sweet. Adam and Eve in the bower, under each flower, whilst outside the three bees compete. Hairy-footed the flower queen hides, whilst the buzzing bees battle away. Till one claims his prize, then takes to the skies, looking back over fothering hay. <laughs> 